guess you needed a reminder. Hmm. Light bridges. Again, I understand it's a puzzle. Oh, this sequence is a puzzle. But, you know, why would they... Why would they have light bridges when it's perfectly fine to use... You know, normal walkways? I don't know. Anyway, it's a puzzle sequence. And it's good to have a puzzle sequence in the Citadel. If you remember from Half-Life 2, the Citadel sequence was actually quite short. Like, if you look at the length of the videos, we didn't actually spend very much time in the Citadel, and I guess Valve decided that the Citadel still had a lot of potential that they didn't explore, and so coming back and clearly you can see here that you know, there are citadel themed puzzles. No problem. No problem, Alex. Where are they? What's going on? Oh, okay. Still... Yeah, so things like this segment. In Ouch. Introducing you to the... to the switch. Oh, that's right, you're meant to bounce it in, although it's an option to... back here and just throw it in directly. If I can get it. There we go. Hmm. The the blue light is where the combine came out of. Is that meant to be a like a color coding? Like the stuff that still function that still functions is blue, and the stuff that's breaking apart is in orange. That doesn't look very stable. What's uh? Hmm. Okay. Yep. Did that just collapse? No. Okay. It's quite it's quite atmospheric, isn't it? The the dark and the light and color lighting. Let's bring her back to the you know the orange and the blues and the shadows and everything. Very nice. Do you do you mind? Do you mind? I'm trying to talk about the atmospheric lighting. I don't appreciate being shot. Whoa. Uh, things continue to fall apart. Yeah, those are the dropships, and that dropship is... Well, it's crashed now, it was picking up a, a strider. Yes, I saw that. There's a walkway under there, but... It doesn't really lead back that way, although I guess it fell apart of it. Tor... 
vertical hallways? Is that what? I mean, I, I don't... I can understand the... You know, the artistic purpose of having these tall hallways like this, but it's not really practical, is it? Unless you can fly, I guess. And again, it's the implication of the the mastery over gravity. You don't, need <laughs> you know, you can if you can fly, then then none of this matters. You can go wherever you like. And the fact that we can't fly emphasizes the the superiority of the combine. I mean, yeah, it, look, it looks awesome. It does look awesome, I can tell you that. But even the Combine, most of this stuff don't fly. I mean, the dropship flies, but the Strider doesn't. Where is it? It's there. The Strider doesn't. Hmm. A human scale door? I mean, that's only for... And these corridors as well, these are human scale corridors. If you notice, of all the Combine, uh, I guess, entities, creatures, only the, the humans are this size. Nothing else will fit in here. I wonder what that... Looks know, like this could be a transport element to the core. I could be thinking a little too much about it, but you know, is is the citadel especially designed for Earth and for human combine? We must be on the right track. Or is it like a standardized design that's been transplanted Here comes more. onto Earth from their dimension? So, like, you know, did they design and build the citadel before they planted it on Earth, or did they just... Heads up. Yeah, I, I think I'll do that a few times. I sometimes miss... <laughs> I miss the... the gravity Watch gun, out. and I'll... fail the segment. No. Okay, I'll... I'll save the game when I... get it. Watch out! What? I, I hit it! Well anyway, it gives us more time to talk about the architecture. So as I was saying... You know, did they build the citadel after they took over Earth, or did they build it before? If they built it before, then they would should not have anticipated human combine and so then they should not have designed corridors that only work at a human scale since they are not a human scale they're they're larger usually even the advisors are significantly larger than us what's wrong with this lift can you get it going again so given that given that so many things here are at human scale like these screens for example and these terminals I guess that must imply that the citadel was built oops. Was built I'm not very good at this am I? Was built after they arrived on Earth. And significantly after their conquest of Earth because they had time to design the, the citadel for their human subjects. Wow! I didn't think about this earlier at the end of the first... That's a glitch. At the end of the first game. What's going on? 
Anyway, it's introducing you to the fact that the stalker can disable these switches. Wow. I'm trying to show you what it does here. Yeah. Pwned. So that's what it's doing. It's getting pwned. Alright. Wow, glitch. Yes, let's. What's down there? Well, we can't really see. I mean, even a corridor of this size, we can fit through it. I guess the advisors can fit through it, but you know, striders count, and neither the dropships or the gunships can. Huh, this looks different now. It's not as vertical. In fact, this corridor is quite horizontal. Well, we are underground, I think, by now. Maybe the citadel kind of spreads out underground. Although that's somewhat inconsistent with the earlier images of, of this you know, giant thing stabbing itself into the ground and, and not actually touching the sides of the hole that it's digging itself into. Huh, interesting. Well, it's the core, so... Maybe that justifies a, a different aesthetic. Actually, yeah, that's a new chapter. Maybe I'll end the segment here. Alright, I'll end the segment here. I'll see you guys soon.